Does the Nintendo Switch need a Mario Kart 9? It's an interesting question, I think. And I made a video a while back about Mario Kart and its future on the Switch. And I said I thought it would eventually come out on the system. But the thing that video didn't address was whether it was actually something that needs to happen on the Switch at all. The Switch already has a pretty great Mario Kart and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Mario Kart games don't end up changing very much from game to game. But on the other hand, 8 Deluxe was basically just Mario Kart 8 again, which means the Switch really doesn't have a true new Mario Kart game. So does the Switch need a new Mario Kart game? Or does Mario Kart 8 Deluxe cover that enough to make it okay? Hello all 326 of you, I'm Red Quan, and do we need Mario Kart 9 on the Nintendo Switch? So why might Mario Kart 8 Deluxe be enough for Mario Kart for the Switch? Well, the reasoning for that is that Mario Kart games are pretty unchanging. One Mario Kart is very similar to the others in the most important ways. The feel of the games, the look of the games, even the little quirks don't make a huge difference. The anti-gravity mechanic in Mario Kart 8 is forgettable at best, and really makes no difference besides more intriguing opening track cutscenes, which let's just say, isn't exactly the most important thing. But it's up there, it's up there. Mario Kart 7's edition of the glider is the same way, and for most of the other games besides Wii, although you could play without the motion controls, and Double Dash, which was a big difference for some and a smaller change for others, the games have felt, played, and been designed in the same way since the beginning. And it's pretty easy to imagine that Mario Kart 9, if it did come out on the Switch, would be basically the same as the other Mario Kart games. And because of that, people probably don't need it to happen on the Switch. Mario Kart isn't like Mario, where you progress through a game that has some variety to it in the first place, and therefore a sequel, even one with similar concepts like Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2, would still be entertaining and worthwhile. Mario Kart doesn't have that gameplay variety to it. Like, at all. With the only thing changing from game to game being that the race goes differently. And games like that, that are replayable but have basically no variety, are not good candidates for getting multiple releases on one system. So if Mario Kart 9 were made like the other Mario Karts before it, staying very close to the established formula, Mario Kart 9 probably isn't necessary from a gameplay standpoint. But there's a problem with that, and that problem is that the Switch doesn't have a true Mario Kart game on it. Sounds like I'm completely contradicting myself here, whoops. I knew I said that based on gameplay we didn't really need a Mario Kart 9 if it acted just like another new Mario Kart, because it would probably play the same as 8 Deluxe. But as a system, the Switch might be better off with one. Because the thing is, a new Mario Kart is big for a system. And Mario Kart is one of Nintendo's biggest series. Having Mario Kart 9 come out on the Switch would definitely make Nintendo a ton of money. Especially since 8 Deluxe sold so phenomenally well when it was just a port. And even with that other game, you better believe Mario Kart 9 would still do crazy well. Because people would buy the same game twice, I guess. Stupid people. Oh wait, I bought 8 and 8 Deluxe. That's different though, I think. Maybe. Just take my word for it. So Mario Kart 9 might still be a good idea for Nintendo, seeing as Mario Kart is one of their best-selling series, even though gameplay-wise and in terms of the needs of the fans, a game isn't really needed. Nintendo also will just want to make sure the Switch has its own designated Mario Kart game, just because it would be strange if there wasn't a new Mario Kart game on a system. Just like it would be strange if there wasn't a new Mario game on a system. The reason 8 Deluxe was ported in the first place wasn't so they didn't have to make a Mario Kart 9 and were just lazy, it was mainly to bolster the Switch's lineup, and provide a fun multiplayer game for people to play on their Switch early on. Because 1-2 Switch sure wasn't doing that, I really got them. The Mario Kart team has had plenty of time to work on stuff, that a break from the middle of the Wii U until after the Switch is pretty unlikely. Unless you count, like, 8 Deluxe and Tour, which I mean, okay. So after totally contradicting myself, what's my final take on this whole idea? Well, here's what I think. In terms of the fans and the unique gameplay experiences, we don't really need anything else. 8 Deluxe fills that Mario Kart hole on the system just fine, and Mario Kart 9 coming would just basically give us the same thing with different tracks and different characters. But for Nintendo, it would make them too much money and make too much sense for them not to put another game out on the Switch. So Mario Kart 9 is basically a lot to happen on the console as far as I'm concerned, but as a game, we don't really need another Mario Kart. So what's the perfect solution here? Well, I think the best solution is for Mario Kart to go in a completely new direction with Mario Kart 9. It's going to happen, so Nintendo might as well take a big risk for it. They can't really lose. If the risk pays off, it should sell terrifically well, maybe even selling more Switches. And if it doesn't go over well, it'll still sell tons of units because it's Mario Kart. And it won't hurt the Switch because people will still be able to play a great normal Mario Kart already. 
I think the best solution for Nintendo and for fans would be for Mario Kart 9 to go in a completely new direction and make gameplay tweaks that would really change up how the game feels, plays, and operates in meaningful ways. We really have nothing to lose, seeing as we already have a great one, and everything to gain because a great game that changed major aspects could set up a great precedent set up a good precedent for the games. So I think that if Mario Kart 9 stays the same, which let's be honest, it probably will, we don't really need anything to come out on the Nintendo Switch. But I probably will anyways because it wouldn't make much sense for Nintendo not to do anything else with this huge series on the Switch. So I think a good solution would be for Nintendo to change up the series drastically for Mario Kart 9, which would justify its release and possibly have some pretty big goodness for Nintendo without much risk. Pretty big goodness. I'm on fire today! Well, I'm Red Quan. What do you think about Mario Kart 9 on the Nintendo Switch? Do you think we need it? Do you think it'll change things up? You think pretty big goodness is a terrific catchphrase that has national appeal? Me too. Me too. Anyways, I'm Red Quan. Thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. Goodbye.